Thank you guys so much for 20,000 subscribers. I cannot believe it. Wow. Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a products I regret buying video and I know that these videos sometimes tend to get like a decent amount of hate because I think that people think that they're a negative but from my perspective I don't think that at all. I think that they are great videos to make. I love watching these videos and it is because I think that on YouTube we make so many videos about products that we like and products that we hype up but there's like this whole other side of makeup like the makeup that sucks that people don't know about. So I think that it's just like really important to be honest and to share opinions whether they are good or bad about certain products. And I also want to mention like I'm feeling quite tired today and I feel like sometimes there really is like a decent amount of pressure to be like as entertaining as possible. And today I just kind of don't feel like succumbing to that pressure. Like I just feel like chilling out and talking about products that I don't like. So I feel like if there's a day to be super mellow, it's today. So first of all, I'm going to start off with some foundations and these are the Maybelline Dream Nude Air Foam foundations and I actually got them for like a dollar something which is seriously unheard of. These are originally 12 I think. I actually don't even know if they sell them anymore but they were on clearance at Rexall. So anyways, I don't like these because I think that the coverage is really, really bad. And for someone like me, like I have a lot of acne and I need some good coverage foundation. And I also find that the smell is like pretty disgusting. It smells like sunscreen, but like toxic sunscreen. Woo! Did you guys see that? Like it literally just, oh no. It's specked everywhere and it's actually kind of on my shirt. Okay, so anyways, it comes out like that, so it is very foamy. And that kind of makes it like hard to blend, like it's just kind of very awkward, I feel like, to use a foam as a foundation. And also the fact that it's in an aerosol can, it's like, you know, straight up that it's not going to be good for you and there's going to be ingredients in there that aren't good for your skin. So secondly, I have this NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Liquid Foundation. And I actually use this for my NYX Face Awards video that I filmed a while ago. I decided to do like an acne coverage foundation type of video for the NYX Face Awards for my entry. Anyways, that was the first time that I ever tried out this foundation and I literally had to wipe it off after I filmed the video. And I've tried this foundation about like three other times and I had to do the exact same thing. And the reason is that it just does not blend very well and it looks very, very patchy and it really does not have the fullest amount of coverage. And it says stay matte but not flat, but that is definitely not true. It is definitely a flat foundation. So the next foundation is the CoverGirl Clean Whipped Cream Foundation. And I actually did film a first impressions on this foundation, but I didn't actually upload it. And the reason is that I didn't even really want to walk outside wearing this foundation. Like it was the exact same thing with the NYX foundation. It was very hard to blend, very patchy. Like you could just tell I was wearing foundation, but like not in a good way. And also it's not very sanitary, the fact that it is in this sort of tub thing. So you're going to be like sticking your hand or brush in and out of it. And then also, I can't even explain the smell. Like, it is so weird. It is like nothing I've ever smelled before. It's almost like fake toxic cherries. All right, so next I have some eyeshadow primers. And the first one I have is by City Color and it's just their shadow primer. And I actually have used this in a lot of videos, but it is because that at the time I didn't have another eyeshadow primer. And I've just realized that every single time I wear this, my eyeshadow is 100% guaranteed to crease. And then I have two primers that were just featured in my shop, Miss A Haul. And unfortunately, these crease as well. My eyeshadow primer in Shimmer is actually stunning, but the thing is, that when I put it on my lid, it actually becomes very sort of patchy. Like it is very difficult just to get sort of like a seamless shimmer application. And a couple times that I did wear this, my eyeshadow creased and then my eyeshadow always creased when I use the matte one too. So next I have a product that I hope that no one protests about, but it is very possible because I know that a lot of people like the Maybelline Baby Lips but I am not one of those people. Currently I'm just using a plain one by Burt's Bees, which I absolutely love. It really does moisturize my lips. And then I tried one by uh, Nivea, I think it was like the Nivea Essentials Lip Balm, and that one was amazing, and it was like $2. So I have tried lip balms that have worked, so I know what to compare it to. 
And this one is just a plain lip balm, and I still do use it because I like to use all my products in my collection. I don't mind the scent though, it's lemon. Like it's very like fake lemon, almost like cleanser lemon, but I'm totally fine with that. So personally for me, I find that the formulation of this is just very, very, very waxy, and I find that it slips off easily. And I just really don't think that they're the best for moisturizing. So next I have a product that isn't one that I don't like. It's just a product that I genuinely am like, I didn't need this and I shouldn't have bought it. So really not saying that this is a bad product, but this is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in the color Fierce and Tangy, and I'm pretty sure this was a limited edition one, but it was on sale for $3.59, and I've always wanted to try out the Maybelline Color Tattoos because I've heard such amazing things about them, but this one just doesn't work for me because of the color, and when I bought this, I thought it was going to be a nude because I couldn't really see what it was. Like I thought it was gonna be like a light orange nude that maybe I could use as an eyeshadow base but it isn't, so anyways, people have told me though to use it underneath my eyes, which I think I tried a couple times, but I actually don't really have that bad of dark circles, so the concealers that I use under my eyes aren't like crazy full coverage, so in order for me to use this, because it is such a bright orange, you definitely need a full coverage concealer. So for me personally, because at this point in my life, I don't have like crazy dark circles, I just don't really see a use of this. So next I have this mascara by Clean Color and it is Girls Talk and straight up I think that this is probably the worst mascara I've ever tried. I was very fascinated by the wand because it is so curled up and I was really excited to try this out. Keep in mind this was only a dollar so I mean no surprises there. It just made my eyelashes look so bad, like it really made me look like I had no eyelashes. I just really felt like they all clumped together but as like one lash in different parts of my kind of eyelash rim, I guess. So next I actually got this in a beauty box a very long time ago, but it's by Afra Cosmetics and it is a 3D loose shadow in the color Diamond Glitz. And for me, the reason why I don't like this product is just because of the actual color. It's very, very odd. And I really just do not know how to use this. So I'll just swatch it and put it on my hand there. It is just like a very muddy color. And I mean, you know, I guess you could say browns are muddy colors, but you know how to use a brown. This one, it's just very hard to identify and I just really do not know what to use it for. I've tried multiple times and I just haven't found something that works. So lastly, I have lip product by Elise Foz, and I also got this in a beauty box a long time ago and this I feel like I may have included in my last products I regret buying video but I can't remember so sorry but again this is really kind of for the color I mean don't get me wrong I do like orange lips but not brown orange and this is just like straight up a brown orange I just think it's a very unflattering color and also I've grown to realize that I really do not like these sorts of applicators because I find that you'll be twisting it and nothing will come out and you'll even wait a while but then all of a sudden all of it comes out and you kind of waste a lot of product because you obviously don't need that much for like one application of it and then it kind of goes everywhere and that's a problem I've been having with the Stila lip glazes as well. Okay so that is everything for the products that I regret buying. I'm thinking about doing another e.l.f. hits and misses best and worst video so if you do want to see that give this video a thumbs up as well as let me know in the comments. So I do have social medias like Instagram and Twitter if you guys want to follow me on those the links are down below as for always just from the bottom of my heart thank you guys so much for watching you guys are always so nice and i will see you in my next video bye